Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel here on YouTube with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. Lighting's all weird in here today. Um, that's why. <laughs> Harmonica reflection. Um, welcome back to Tremolo Tuesdays. Um, I'm just kind of still easing into my morning here. I don't usually drink Sprite, but that's all we have in the fridge right now. I got a cup of coffee too, but it's too hot to drink. <laughs> um, so last week on Tremolo Tuesday, um, I'm glad people, I know at least Ryan Kirky is, enjoy, is enjoying uh, these, these, uh, Tremolo Tuesday episodes. They're going to come to an end pretty soon because I'm going to run out of harmonicas to talk about. But, uh, <laughs> um, but that's okay. Um, I still got a, I still have a few. I do, I'm just saying this, this, epi this uh, series won't be uh, ongoing unless I continue to uh, accumulate tremolo harmonicas. So <laughs> which right now isn't looking looking so great. But we still got something to get through. And I told you last week um, I was going to talk about some budget harmonicas. Um, budget tremolo harmonicas. Uh, now, Honer, uh, okay, Honer, this is, this is kind of the budget, the budget model. Uh, these, these are both a little bit old, but... Uh, I don't know. I guess they probably still make them. This is the budget uh, twenty-four hole. I think it is tremolo uh, harmonica called the Weekender. Um, now, whenever you see Honer International, it means it's made in China, usually or Ireland. But this isn't made in Ireland. This is made in China. <laughs> um, it says right on the on the cover. Um, some of the Irish harps they make are the the Irish branch of uh, Honer make pretty good harps. But um, now I bought I bought this one in a toy store. Uh, these there's there's a toy store downtown. I don't know if they still sell harmonicas. I'm sure they do. Um, but I bought this one there. This is one of the first uh, tremolos I think I had. Um, just to see, just, just to get, I bought it just to get a feel for it, you know, um, cause I usually play diatonics, right? Um, and this was only, I think this cost me like less than $12, you know, um, probably only six bucks or something like that at the time. I bought this like a couple decades ago, um. And it's just kind of a cheap version of their of their uh, their echo harps, you know. Um, not as airtight um but i do got to give it to honer the honer international people for you know their their budget line tremolo harmonicas are fucking way better than any 10 hole diatonic that you're gonna buy from honer international from the chinese branch anyway um Tremolo, that's because uh, in Asia, uh, tremolo harp is more often played, I think. Um, yeah, but I don't know. Um, so this is good, like this is good if you just want to get a taste for the tremolo harp, just try it out. 
it's it's I don't know how much they cost now I'm going to show you a couple more harps that are in the same same category I guess made by Honer International um, interestingly enough this one also came in a in a shorter scale version that's very different than see this one has like the big plastic lip all around that makes it easier on your lips or whatever I don't I don't I play wood body harmonicas, so I don't really like this big jutting out lip. Um, you know, and the back's pretty standard like that. But uh, the this this weekender, this was sent, Hillary sent this to me like ages ago, and uh, it's a short scale one. And uh, to give it a that's. That's where it lies on the the big like. That's where the first note starts and the last note ends. On the, on the, that's the difference uh, tonally. Um, now these ones have a have a plastic body that I much prefer. It's flush to the flush to the bo the body of the fl It's flush, you know. Um, and the back's quite interesting as well. I just like an, an interesting looking back for sure. <clears throat> this one has a couple wonky notes on it, but, uh, Like just for the size of it and every, I like the I like the the smaller one. I think these are quite old. I doubt I don't I doubt they make these anymore. But uh, yeah, that's the Honer Weekender from Honer International. Um, and now I did buy a couple of these these harps. These are called the Honer Celeste Echo Harp, and they're much like the Weekender. Um, you know what I mean? Same, same general layout. Um, cover plates are basically the same. Same kind of backing. Um, I bought these. Now, when I bought these, these were 60 bucks each. Um, which is actually cheap for a harmonica these days. This one, and the, I bought these because they came in cool keys. Um, this one is the key of G. You know, I don't know. My problem with these is they don't have much of a tremolo effect to them, you know? Um, I bought another one in the key of D, and I thought that would be really interesting. D is one of my favorite keys to play in on the harmonica. So. But this is how it starts off on a low note. It's quite lovely the low the low note, but uh, but yeah, like I said, these these are very similar to the the, the long scale weekender. Um, the tremolo effect is not that great. Um, even on the weekender, it's not that great. Like it's there, but you know, like on a good tremolo, like like. Uh, like the, my German made echo harps, you can feel the vibrations in your lips, you know, with these you can't. Um, but the cool thing about the Honer Celeste is it does come in this real cool little gig bag. Um, you can just zip it up and take it and carry it in your hand to the gig or to the jam or to the wherever you're taking it. Um, I always thought, I thought that was a cool feature. Um, it's a nice bag, you know. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, 
Would I buy more Honer Echo Celestes? No, I would not. Um, but I'm, I'm glad I tried. The, I got a couple to try out. But, uh, yeah. So that's uh, Honer International uh, Chinese branch uh, tremolo harmonicas. They're cheaper than a good tremolo harmonica. Um for new harmonicas anyway um you know they're cheaper they give you a kind of an idea what it's all about but ultimately i'd say save up your money and buy a, a good german made one you know in the long run of things but anyhow that's uh tremolo tuesday And I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again uh, for my next video, <laughs> whatever it may be. Um, I'm working on a song, like I said yesterday. Um, you know, you can't you can't lay it down until you you got it somewhat formulated in your head. And I'm almost it's almost formulated in my head. But uh, I hope you're all doing good and well, and I hope you are all having a lovely Tuesday. Uh, afternoon or morning or whatever time of day it is for you um and yeah be well everybody thanks for watching the dirty pout walsh channel